it's the O with the info. People need to stop demonizing men for being open-minded. I let my wife sleep with other men, not because Say I'm what? a simp, and I, I wish people would stop oh. calling me that, but because I'm open-minded enough to know that for a relationship to work, you have to let your partner explore other relationships. Yo, it's your man, it's the old with them, bro. Give me what you need to know. But you ain't here for me, though. Man, man. Where do I start? I mean, really? Yeah, freeze my ass off of this. It's a cold world, so this is a metaphorical video. I just played a little snippet. Even it shocked me, even I had to come out here and smoke me a damn cigarette. No, no, that's my health. Don't quit New Year resolution. But, back to the point. I don't know if this was a prank or a skit, but them look too serious. It was like, like how dare you dudes with masculinity Dudes that want to go ahead and keep a woman in pocket and not out of. Say that it's okay for his significant other, the one he signed a contract with, the one he walked down the aisle with, to bust a wide open with other dudes. He gotta provide, protect. And actually love a woman like that. Is this part of the agenda 30 that men just gonna have to accept this as a bad norm? I mean, that's sound like an Australian dude. That's the westernized culture. How many dudes in these borders of America or Canada or anywhere else think like this? Well, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do a deep elaboration on this in an old fashioned way. It's like negative 10 degrees out here, but these women's hearts is way colder than that. People need to stop demonizing men for being open-minded. I let my wife sleep with other men, not because I'm a simp, and I, I wish people would stop calling me that, but because I'm open-minded enough to know that for a relationship to work, you have to let your partner explore other relationships. Because what, are, what is your relationship if you don't trust them enough to explore other people? And so that's why I let my wife sleep with other men. And if you have a problem with that, then maybe you need to check and have a look at yourself to, because maybe you've got some sort of trust issues going on in your life. Lordy, 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 man. So, you know, I was just mind my business on this uh, beautiful day. And when I saw this on World Star, I had to clip this and talk about it for a little bit because this is the simp weak culture that I've been talking about, everybody been talking about. This is really why I said in previous videos, marriage is dead as far as the traditional way going forth into 2023. <laughs> to be married means you have to be a cuck. And to be a cuck, that means if you are out here doing your own thing, gentlemen, instead of relationship or marriage, that means she's still out here doing her own 
they ain't fucking around with the fuck arounds. So what's the whole point? And I hate to admit it, but since, you know, a particular group of B-dubs, you know, called divestors or should I say trivestors, this is who they put up on us and this is who they're getting the biggest come up in. Not to disparage any my Caucasian followers, but this is a Caucasian male comeuppance. He has been the poster child as being masculine in this society for so long. Now it's, it's only right that he become just like some of us black men into a cuck. And speaking of cucks, you know, this uh, video just uh, proves a uh, theory for some dating coaches out there, you know. It, they'll tell you uh, why you want to go out there to foreign seas. They cheat too. You know, they're going to use this Australian guy as a uh, talking point in videos to come. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And I ain't got no smoke for the uh, dating coaches. You know, the ones that's out here giving real masculine frame, <laughs> actual stoic thoughts, being your own man, better version of yourself. I ain't got no problem with that. It's you other guys that's out here dick policing, telling them what men need to do with their so-called funds to treat out a 304 that doesn't even care about their wherewithal at all. And you, y'all want to go ahead and talk about you gotta do this, you gotta do that. <laughs> Even some Euclid millions out there will go ahead and perpetuate and tell us uh, men what we should do as men to get in relationships with some of y'all. Just be a cuckold. And this is Chad's influence. This is his compass. And black man, you also, in some cases, because the simps worldwide, will probably agree with this. You know, some house dudes do actually take their cues from Chad, and again, not to disparage my Caucasian brethren, but this is part of the system, literally. This is trying to be part of the system. Woke culture, woke relationships. Man, what put me back to sleep? I won't go back to sleep into a traditional ways, traditional time where a man was actually a man of his household, even even if he's a bachelor. You know what? I've been seeing a lot of you dudes that's bachelors got their own crib, man. You still got a chick telling you what to do into your own crib. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video on that later. You know what I'm saying? That's the y'all y'all really benevolent. Y'all really above the uh, reproach of trying to tell somebody boundaries. And I see this being a bad future end. They, I said agenda 2030, right? That's only seven years away. Y'all have been falling for every cue what they tell you to do, hook, line, and sinker since 2020 with the pandemic. Man, man, man. But, gentlemen, I got faith in y'all. And ladies, I got faith in y'all that's really a part of this space that's really giving uh, us men some benefit of doubt, giving us men something to talk about and not on a negative tip. Salute to y'all, but to the B-dub, the we dub the A-dub, the Lee-dub. Yeah, I talk like that to all y'all. And to come, your boy is back. Until next time, it's your man, Mr. O, with the info. Give me what you need to know. But you ain't here for me, though. And thanks to Angry Man, Black Ram, for all the support and giving me uh, all these new subscribers. I appreciate y'all. I really do. And go ahead, sign up for my TikTok. Sign up for my Instagram. I will be going ahead doing a lot of things over there too. Until we meet again, it's your man, Mr. O with the info. Give me what you need to know, but you ain't here for me though. And if you enjoy the content and you wanna go ahead and donate, please sock it to my pocket at dollar sign M-I-S-T-E-R-O seven zero. All cap, but no cap on Cash App. And I'll holla at you later. Peace. I'm gone. Mr. O with the info.